it's just after five in the morning and I just need to share with you the nice morning glow around St. Paul's Cathedral. The skyscape is gorgeous. And we're out. Got about five hours of sleep. But man, we were out like a light. That was impressive. It never got super cool last night. Like right now, it's cold. I wouldn't say cold by any means. It's cool-ish. Uh, today is supposed to be blazing hot. The next three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, are supposed to be absolute just face melters. Tuesday, we're going to Brussels. We looked at our step counter yesterday before we went to sleep, and mine said about 27,000, Phil said 28,000. His is more accurate. He's in the bathroom getting ready. And I'm going to do the same. I just wanted to show you St. Paul's in the morning glow. Welcome to Brick Lane. Oh shit, we're right here. Oh wow, there's a line. All right, let's go in. All right, we are here. Look at this beautiful sandwich that we have waited so long for. All right. Can you hear them? Yep, right in front of the truck. Right. Want to take a bite? Yeah. Okay. Is mine better? Is the burning question. Yes. Yes? Mine's better than that. Try yours. I definitely don't put as much meat on mine. It's very greasy. I don't remember it being so greasy. Yeah, it was supposed to be the other one was the greasy one, but I guess it's time baby come. I think theirs is better than mine. Well, oh, that's just like your opinion, man. Goddamn. All right, well, we're gonna enjoy these magic. Oh yeah, we are. So bread. We, and bread. So we went next door to the other shop. Because we got this hollow last time we were here. And it was very good stuff. It, it's just magic. Oh, someone's trying to get on behind us. Oh. Okay, well. So we also yeah. got this hollow. And last time we tried to come here to get the rainbow bagel, and they were sold out. <laughs> so we got her own. So we got it now. It's very pretty. You're very pretty. And, oh, look at my hollow. Look how pretty she is. She's dense. She's a thick girl. Thick with two C's. <laughs> All right. So I want to take a picture of this, so sorry. All, all the way down. So, and also. I, I need to take a picture of that for work because we use CDK and I think it's probably a different CDK. Welcome to the vintage market. Everyone's still setting up right now. We're here a little early. This is the Brick Lane Vintage Market, Sundays only. I know, I like that little tiny one, but everyone's still setting up first. So we need to... Street art here is very fun. So as I recall, this is more of like the upper scale. And then there's like the random weird stuff down the side streets. 
I believe so. Yeah, because I bought one of those bags here last time. Rude. Fun stuff all around. There's more food stalls down here, but we made the same mistake that we made last time where we fill up on bagels. More immigration in this nation. I think we went down that last street last time. And that was where the kind of like garage sale stuff was. Black Cab Coffee Company. If the market said they opened at 10, then everyone would be setting up at 9.45, the same way that they're setting up at 8.45. Oh, those are beautiful. Pardon? I think she heard me. Doritos, taco, taco salad box. Oh, buns. Good morning. Good morning. The guy is associated. The guy cooking the meat. <laughs> I didn't oh. say. He just all the drinks like this, just staring. Where's the rest of the market? I feel like we're missing something. Is this market dying? No, it was further down. No, I think it's down that road. Okay. Or the market's dying. There were a lot more food vendors last time too. I guess it's not a good weekend. Maybe they're all at another one. Well, there, I think there are more markets now than there were last time we came. Oh, maybe it looks like people are still setting up. What time is it now? Uh, 9.13. So it's 9.13. The market's supposed to open at 9. You can't do that this time. No, there's one more straight up. Alright, so Brick Lane was kind of a bust. It was a little bit smaller than what we had anticipated. The previous year, it was like... The previous time that we went, it was incredible. But, this gives us an excuse to go to something a little bit early that we hadn't intended on doing until later, which is Leaden Hall Market. Man, I am bad at vlogging. We've been walking through here, taking a bunch of photos, just having a grand old time. Quoting Hagrid. And I totally forgot to vlog. And this place is so pretty. It's getting a little bit busier. There was no one over here when Phil and I came. I also really enjoyed that sign for Old Tom's Bar and the Goose. Editing Haley from the future here. Just wanted to let you know something cool that I found out afterwards. Uh, Tom was actually a goose that lived in the market. He came over from Belgium, and despite every single other member of the Belgian geese that arrived, he escaped. He lived until 37 years old when he died of natural causes and was buried on the market site. Um, and this is his obituary from April 16th, 1835, in memory of old Tom the Gander. And his age was 37 years, 9 months, and 6 days. This famous gander, well in stubble, fed freely without care or trouble, grew fat with corn and sitting still, and scarce could the barn door sill, and seldom waddled forth to cool his belly in the neighboring pool. Transplanted to another scene, he stalked in state or callous green, with full 500 geese behind to his superior care consigned whom readily he would engage to lead in march ten miles a stage, 
Thus a decoy he lived and died, the chief of geese, the poulterer's pride. But it's just, nothing's open yet, which is, you gotta understand that I do London early in the morning, and that's the way that I like it. Because it's pretty and you don't have tourists everywhere. You can just enjoy things for the way that they are. So June was Pride Month, so they have all the Pride flags. And it was this entrance. I want to walk a little bit further. And you can tell that I'm right because it says Harry Potter film location walk because this was a film location walk because Hagrid and Harry walk up this street and Hagrid, Harry says, can we buy all this in London? That's my terrible Daniel Radcliffe. And Hagrid says, yes, if you know where to look. Can we get all that in London? Can we get all that in London? Oh, That's a magic pigeon. Location, right? Magic pigeon. It's Probably actually, Dumbledore. Yeah. So we're on our way to Secret Detour and we came upon this piazza walk with the coolest water feature. The water splashes is to mimic how horses would run through the water. Very cool. So we did the ancestry report and we did that just before we came to England the first time. And it came back to feels like 80,000% British. But, and I was like, 0%. Two weeks after we came back from London the second time, there was a hit on one of my family members. When my father's family was leaving Eastern Europe, they lived in London for a few years. And they were here long enough to do a census. And they lived at 23 Growers Walk. Now, they moved in the 1860s, right before Tower Bridge was built, and their house was torn down to build a factory. And that factory is right behind Phil. A little yeah. too close to be seen very well. Okay. Keep walking back, I'll save you. I got you. So the thing is that the, numbers, the numbering has changed a little bit. And honestly, with how this brick is, it could be the same brick that they walked on. But yeah, this, the house and the whole block was torn down to build this factory. And it was right it's here. It's no longer a factory now. It's luxury flats offices. You mean if they just stuck around, they could have moved back in? We could move in. Yeah, no, thank you. I mean, it's a nice neighborhood. I mean, look, it's got those fun little windows up there, too. They had good taste. I mean, it didn't look anything like this when they lived here, but... Yeah, it didn't have that modern... Is that this office across the street? <laughs> I mean, that is apartments. Yeah. So how do you feel, Haley? Like we should buy a place here. Got it. Check. I mean, it's nice and shady. It's comfortable. It's pretty close to Tower. They didn't know that there would be enough subway stations built around here, but right. my Do people it. knew what they were doing. Yeah, all right. Put the down payment on it right now. <laughs> I'm glad the factory is still here. Some kind of connection or not? Something ultra modern? Yeah. If it was like the dentist office apartments, I wouldn't have as much feeling towards it, but this, but this was literally old. built three years after they left. Yeah. So, that that's close enough to me. So they lived at 23 Gowers Walk. This says it's 39, but 23 would be right along this area. Very cool. I'm glad we made it. I'm glad we made it too. Fun, fun. There's still reminiscence of when it was a factory. 
Yeah. Right, I to... wish I knew what it looked like when they lived here. Like, probably a lot lower on the tower. So, like, how tall? Do they live in a house or a apartment? Um, I don't know. It was a flat chair. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, in the census, it said that my great great grandfather was a rag seller. His wife was a homemaker. I thought he was a carpet salesman. No, that was my actual grandfather. Oh, no, I agree. Great great grandparent was a rag seller. Selling rags? Uh, that's just kind of what they called people who sold goods on the little markets. Oh, like the boot salesman or like the, uh, the little higher class? Um, well, they didn't have a lot of money. They were immigrants. So it might have been one of those that we walked by in. Brick Lane. I mean, Brick Lane was the traditionally Jewish area. A little far from there, but you could have made it over there in an hour walk. Very cool. All right.